Hey, uh, I just wanted to take a minute here and just say happy Thanksgiving to everybody. You know what I mean? Um, I hope everybody has a good one. Safe. Um, you know, I, I'm just thankful for the opportunity to have an opportunity to be thankful. To be grateful for things. For, you know, places like this. Where I can live in a place like this. Where I can come to places like this and enjoy the nature for free. Right? With my dog. Right? It's kind of like my son. Right? My little world right there, but... Come on, over here. Over here. Come on. Over here. So, uh... Trying to get him away from people because he's kind of big and lovable, but people don't know that they kind of get kind of intimidated by his bigness. And uh, so, I mean, usually holidays for me are another day. You know, today to me it's just another Thursday. You know what I mean? Um, I don't really get caught up in all that little stuff, but. Um, for other people they do you know what i mean my family my family uh one of my sisters used to always say my family puts the fun in dysfunctional you know what i mean and so we never really had traditions we never really done stuff like that you know what i mean it was more like oh man everybody else is doing it so we got to get involved and do stuff like that too that's how i've always felt like it was you know what i mean it was more like a obligation these days are kind of an obligation but it seems like for a lot of people right but um, it's nice, man, because on days like this, you get to places like this, and there's nobody here. You know what I mean? Which is really cool, because you get prime real estate. Nobody's here, because everybody's doing things for their family and stuff, you know? And uh, I get to just enjoy this stuff, you know? Which is really cool. And um, you can take a time and reflect and enjoy stuff, you know? There's some sea lions over there, if you can see them sea lions over there somewhere you know what i mean so who wants to go in there it's cold you guys see that water look at that water it's clear probably doing bad bad camel work but water dog you know <laughs> right so for me thanksgiving was just it's just another day man you know what i mean you get turkey you know enjoy that kind of stuff you know that's what but Christmas was more of the thing that my family kind of, kind of had problem. <laughs> we always uh, fight and squabble over and get drunk and, you know, do that kind of stuff on Christmas and New Year's and stuff like that. But um, Thanksgiving, my, you know, when I lived in California back with my family and stuff like that, you know, I liked it because they could they could cook some really good food. And I like that, but Thanksgiving food, I'm not really that, in, that into it, man. I'm, in, I, I'm not even really into uh, winter and fall, man. I'm into, like, the summer and spring, you know? So, but uh, I just wanted to just, you know, say that. I just wanted to say that I'm thankful for a lot of things, man. And, and I might not always show it. I might not always seem like I am. I might not, but I'm, I am, I'm glad that I'm able to have the wherewithal to know that family and friends and people that's what matters you know what i mean right it's not about what every, like what the left likes to say or what all these other people like to make it all political it's not man it's today's a day about just taking a time to just stop because I mean, in our lives we're always going back and forth but you know voom, voom, like a freeway right like the autobahn just going fast like boom boom in life right and today you actually just get to take a break Take a step, take a deep breath, and actually just reflect and, and think about all the stuff that's been going on, all the people you have in your life, and be thankful, man. You know what I mean? A little bit, and a little bit of, 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 of gratitude goes a long way, and I don't think people really realize that. You know what I mean? Especially nowadays with, with everybody just always trying to tear things down and, 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 and bicker and squabble and 
I think now, you, you know, you could even be thankful for, for, the, for the opportunity to be able to do that because so many people came before us where they had to struggle and endure. So now, now we can look in hindsight and be like, oh man, look at all this kind of stuff. You know, it's, and that's why I guess they say the struggle is all love, man, because that's when you really get to realize, you know, who you really are and what you're really made of, you know? And um, the past two years for me, man, has been really rough, man. Uh, I've lost a lot of good people. I lost my dad. I lost my sister. We weren't really that close at all, but, you know, it still kind of hurts, you know? And, um, that you know, I lost a lot of good friends, you know? I've lost, I lost a lot of old ways and habits, too, which is also good, you know? But um, sometimes losing stuff isn't always a bad thing, you know? And I'm grateful that I had them in my life, you know what I mean? Um, it's just, it's a beautiful thing, man. Life is beautiful. It is. And if you don't take the time, like today, to stop and reflect and think about it, like they say, stop to smell the roses sometimes. And that's what today's about, man. Today's about being able to stop and enjoy that. And I hope that people can see that, you know what I mean? Instead of just taking caught up in all the, all the hoo-ha and him haws you know? It ain't about all that, man. It's about what you make it, right? And I think that's what we really need to start doing is realizing that, you know, we could tear things down and we could, you know, dismantle stuff, but can we rebuild it? Can we put things back together, right? And if we can't, why are we trying to burn down everything else, you know? And that's that's to me man you know and uh, on a side note you know I want to say that uh, you know there's also a thing I you know I maybe maybe uh, I should also be grateful for the opportunity to uh, to realize that I've been selfish lately man and I've been doing a lot of things my own way and you know there's people that care about me and want the best for me and sometimes I don't really notice that and I don't really take it into heart like that man and I don't see it that way and, and I, and I get mad and I get angry and I start acting out and I start doing things that I shouldn't be doing, you know, whether, whether it's good for me or not, right? Whether it's okay or whether it's not, right? Everything's beneficial. Everything is permissible, but not everything is beneficial, they say, right? Okay, well, that's cool. But, um, but what I'm saying is I've been doing a lot of selfish things and I've been doing things that I should apologize for maybe. But I, I also don't like to apologize. I also don't like to do all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? I'm very, I have a lot, I have some pride. I, I used to have a lot, a lot of pride and a lot of ego. And, and it's not your amigo, someone says. I heard it, you know, and it's, it's stuck with me like that. But what I'm trying to say is, sometimes I get stuck. He's tripping on it. Come here, Bibba. Come on. But, um, and, and, I, and the people that, that want the best for me and, and stuff like that and, and, and try to correct some things that, are, that aren't that great, you know, that maybe mess up my productivity, maybe slow that down, maybe, you know what I mean, and get me stuck in my own stinking thinking. I don't see it that way and I act out and I, and I, shouldn't do that you know what I mean I should take heed right pay attention and stuff like that but I don't you know and I, I start seeing and I'm and, and I start acting ungrateful and that's that's going back to the whole theme of today right being being grateful and being thankful I'm thankful that I have those people in my life you know what I mean and, and whether I, I don't show it or I act like it um, I, I really am and I wanted to take the time to say that I love all of you you know what I mean and I'm, and I'm thankful and I appreciate you you know and should it, I, I, I would apologize for being very selfish, but that doesn't make any sense to me because I'm probably going to do it again. So why would I apologize to just do it again? So what I'm saying is I'm, I will do my very best to keep doing the best I can with what I can. You know what I'm saying? And when I need to do even more better, yes, this is that's that's what accountability is all about. That's what having responsibility is about. That's what communication is all about, right? The art of all that, right? And that's what I'm trying to say is we shouldn't always expect apologies. We should just expect people to understand that they need to do better and be better and get better, right? And that's what I'm trying to show you the, the sea life over there. But um, 
and that's what that's what that's what I wanted to come over here today to talk about, you know. And I hope that some people can take that, and I hope some people appreciate that. I hope I hope I do, you know. I might not believe in much, and I might not believe in all that people that much, but I do hope. I, hope springs eternal, man, and I do know that with opportunities like this, I and mean, with the opportunity to understand that. I'm thinking that, that we can be do this, that I can get better, that we can be better, that we do, can do better. You know what I'm saying? And really, that's all that we can really, really hope for, that we, we can really expect. You know what I mean? Um, you know, it's like change is, is, is hard. You know, change is hard for a lot of people. And I mean, I've come a long way. I've done a long, and I got a lot more to go. I got a lot long, a lot more ways to go. You know what I'm saying? But I know that, and and with that, I'm able to appreciate that. You know, and even in these moments where you know I'm, I feel alone a lot, uh, I feel under, un, un, unappreciated. I feel um, like people take me for granted a lot. I feel too much sometimes and I think overthink things a lot and sometimes that that's to my own detriment and sometimes that makes me do things that even if it's not real or the things that I think or feel isn't all that maybe it's exaggerated whatever um, I'm, I'm able to process that in, 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 in moments even if it's not in the moment that that should be before I do those things afterwards i'm able to process that and have the wherewithal to understand what's going on and be able to correct those things you know what i mean but i am a human i am fallible i'm not perfect you know what i mean and uh i just wanted to to relay those things you know what i mean and i want to guys to know that um i'm thankful man and i'm really glad to have my life the way that it's going you know, it might not be perfect and it might not be great right now, but I know that excellence and greatness is what I'm headed for, what I'm striving for, you know. Uh, the, the old moon shot, as they would put it, right? And um, it takes time, you know, but how long, how long does time take, you know? That's the, that's the real question, isn't it? And so, you know. Maybe I should meditate on that more, you know? Maybe I should ask for help. I don't really know how to ask for help. I don't really, but I do need help, you know? In more ways than one. And uh, I'm so used to just doing everything by myself and, and doing everything for everybody else by myself. And uh, I don't really get anything back in return and I don't really expect it, you know? But at the same time, it, it kind of messes with you when you don't, right? And so with that, I just wanted to say that. And uh, I love you guys, man. You know, I hope you guys, hope you guys uh, either love me or find the time to, to appreciate what I'm, what I'm saying, what I'm trying to do here. All right? All right. With that, I'll be gone.